What's good, y'all? This is your boy Jack back again with another video. Today, we're going to be getting into some uh, Simu emulation. Uh, uh, the link is in the description. We're going to be going over uh, Breath of the Wild. And just like in all my other videos, please like, share, subscribe. It really, really helps out the channel. And yeah, um, getting Simu uh, set up and things like that is really, really easy. Once you download the emulator and things like that, uh, one of the one of the key things to know is that uh, if your games don't load right away, what you can do is uh, go into the Simu folder wherever you downloaded it, and there's a key file, and I'll link the description to the video, and make sure you go ahead and swap that key file out. Sometimes I think the regular one comes with a vanilla key file. So, anyways, uh, we're gonna go over some of the settings and, and things like that. Uh, you guys can pause that and take a look at that. Uh, what I would recommend is putting all your games, all your uh, Wii U games in a specific folder. And then what you're going to do, you're going to add them. And then they'll pop up in here uh, under graphics. This is what I have. Um, I have it stretched so to use the whole screen. These are my audio settings. Uh, <clears throat> this is for my overlay, so you can choose to have an overlay if you want. I'm just doing it for the video. I usually don't play with the overlay. RTSS kind of is, uh, it doesn't play nice on this particular screen, but if you hook it up to a monitor, it's just fine. So I have mine in the center because I'm playing uh, Breath of the Wild. There you go. And there you go. And so for this particular game, these are some of the uh, graphics packs. So you right click. And you come down here and you go to edit graphics packs and then they have the uh, cheats and stuff like that so if you want to do any of those they've got those they've got the custom mods this right here uh, gets rid of the whole motion uh, controls in the shrines and stuff like that so you can so it's not game breaking I just have the matching green tunics the controller UI for this particular one they have PS4 Steam and Xbox the one that I'm using is the regular Xbox uh, standard. Under the mods, you guys can go ahead and pause that. I have a uh, draw distance on, extended memory, FPS plus plus, menu navigation speed, and also I have the Xbox controller layout again. And under enhancements, these are my options. And under graphics, these are also my options. You guys can see that and uh, one last thing I, I did want to show you guys so when you guys set up uh, Simu for the first time when you guys go in there under input settings what you want to do you're gonna want to set it up as a as a gamepad at first and then you can revert back the controls look the same it's no big deal um, you want to for your controller you want to use obviously X input and then it should uh, uh, pop everything up there, and then you guys can you know you guys can see and see how that works and things like that. So you know I just kind of wanted to uh, go over that first uh, before I um, before I actually jumped into a game because um, <clears throat> sometimes it can be a little finicky and stuff like that. So I know I've been talking the whole time, but this is just good information if you want to get the uh, emulator running the uh the way that you that you know saying that you wanted it to so it is up to you so I'll go ahead and get this started i'll stop talking you know i've been talking everybody want to see the game <laughs> you know don't nobody care about what i'm talking about and uh as you can see and it uh you can set this to start in full screen but i have it like this intentionally just so you guys can see what it's using i'm using uh uh simu uh, 2.0 45 experimental and there you go so now I'm going to pop it out to full screen there you go and there you go and I've been having a really good time with it you know what I'm saying I mean it's super smooth it looks great I didn't have no issues with it no crashing no glitching you know the guys you know what I'm saying the guys and gals over at the CMU team they've been doing a fantastic job so as you can see, you know, this is just, you know, we're just going to roll right here. We're going to get into a fight real quick with a guardian. And as you can see, hovering around the, the you know, saying the low to high 40s. 
and it's it's smooth. And you get hit, so you guys can see. Just so you know. And it doesn't drop. It doesn't, it, you know, saying it doesn't glitch out or anything like that. So I'm probably gonna get hit again. <laughs> see there, there we go. So, so just remember when you're in, you know, saying when you go into different areas the first time. When you go into a first area, obviously, you know, saying because it's emulation, it's gonna, you know, cash and do all the shaders and, you know, all that other good stuff. So just, you know, again, just be patient with it. You know, saying every time you go into it, to a new area, you know, it's, it's gonna do its thing. You'll see the shaders caching, you'll see all this other stuff. So this is the first time I've been to this particular vault. So what's gonna happen it, or, you know, vault, dungeon, whatever you wanna call it, it's, you know, saying it's going to have this little slowdown. It's going to, you know, do the little shaders. I'm doing this intentionally just so you guys can see what it looks like. And if you guys have never played this game, this game is amazing. This is the game that set it off for Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> you know, this is, this is you know, I, I absolutely love this game. This game was probably my favorite game of all time until Tears of Kingdom. Tears of the Kingdom came out, and then when Tears of the Kingdom came out, that was it. Because <laughs> it basically improved on everything, every small itty bitty issue I had with uh, Breath of the Wild. And so going back and playing this, you know, this feels like a tech demo. <laughs> a very, 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 very good tech demo. But, you know, tech, tech demo uh, nonetheless. So... As you can see right here, and I'm just going through this stuff just so you guys can, you know, you guys can see. I'm not doing it intentionally, just so you guys can. As you can see, going in there, super smooth. God, I love this man. Physics, everything, graphics, and then as you can see, this is a, a way better experience than, you know, what I'm saying. And then intentionally we're gonna go into the menus, all the menus work, you know, and things like that. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna drop this just so we can pick up this this claymore. But yeah, man, you know, I mean, you know, every, everything works, it's super smooth. And this would probably be my recommendation if you're gonna play uh, Breath of the Wild on, you know, in emulated uh, fashion, I would use Simu. You. you know, the, you know, saying the guys and gals have been you know, been tweaking it to, 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 to the point of where it's at right now. And I believe that it, it is the, the dominant, uh, you know, experience for this particular game. So, yeah, there you have it. Breath of the Wild, Simu Emulator. And, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I know I've been ranting and raving and stuff like that, but I, I wanted you guys to see, you know, kind of the setup, all the settings, you know, and kind of see how it works. No tearing or anything like that. Nothing stupid going on. You know, everything's good. But yeah, if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, check the description for uh, all the links and stuff like that if you want to get this up and running. You guys take care of each other. Peace.